Hello everybody, my name is Dave Milray and I am the Central District Sales Manager as well as the Canadian Sales Manager for American Film and Machinery and Eastie Enterprises. Today we're going to show you our CH100 Tamper Evident Bander from AFM. A unit we're really excited about that has a lot of different features but is also very simplistic and allows for maximum uptime and minimum downtime. Okay, so what we're really doing here with the CH100, as I said earlier, is we're adding a tamper-evident band. Now a tamper-evident band is typically the band that goes around the cap. So what that's going to do is that's going to add an extra layer of security and the added bonus of consumer confidence, knowing that when they see this on the shelf at a Target, a Walgreens, a Walmart, at whatever retailer they're going to, that what they're purchasing is truly what they're purchasing. So we're gonna go into a few of the features of this machine, but first I wanna show you a quick dry run of what we're doing. So as you see, we're gonna load containers, in this case we're using Boston Round pill bottles, to the conveyor. In this situation, we're placing them manually without a timing screw or a spacing device. We have a spacing wheel to offer, but what we're doing again is just adding that top tamper evident band for an extra layer of security. It's gonna travel through our shrink tunnel, which is going to shrink the band down and leave us with a perfectly shrunk one millimeter around edge that's going to add for that extra level of tamper evident security. Now, if this looks familiar to you, this was all started back in the 80s due to the Tylenol scare in Chicago. So if you don't know about the Tylenol scare, there were six bottles of Tylenol on the shelves that were introduced to cyanide by an outside party. Well, with the introduction of tamper bands, that opportunity has now been removed from the marketplace and added a lot of consumer confidence. So with our CH100, again, there's a few different things and I'm gonna start at the beginning of the process on the back side of the machine and we'll move towards the front all the way down the line to the shrink. So, first part that I want to hammer home on is the film hopper. The film hopper is going to be the area where we're going to store the film. So you're going to take your roll and it's eventually going to turn into a cut band, but it's going to begin in roll stock form. This hopper is lo located towards the bottom of the machine, which is going to allow for easy placement. So again, these rolls can get heavy oftentimes. And to have this down low, make sure that you're not straining your back, you're not straining your shoulder, your neck muscles, lifting it up high. So again, we're gonna load the film in the hopper here. We're gonna travel up the backside of the, uh, of the machine, as you can see with the film, and we're gonna go through a few dancer bars. So what that's gonna do is make sure that we're maintaining tension throughout the application. Now we move over towards the front of the machine, and this is where the magic happens. I am going to stop the machine of this machine is it's interlock guarding so if I were to open that door while the machine is operating it will trigger the alarm and the machine will shut down now that's an extra layer of security for the operators to make sure that they're not able to get their hands inside of the hood to potentially have issues so again I've stopped the machine I'm gonna open up the front door nice feature of this machine is that it's, everything is easily accessible everything is at eye level and you can get your hands in it. So if you need to make adjustments, it's a really simple move. As you see, we're gonna continue with the path of the film. It's gonna travel through the machine. Now, as it's traveling through the machine, it's going to be introduced to our butterfly style mandrel. If you can get a close up on that butterfly style mandrel, note that we build the mandrels to label sizes. So in this situation, we have an 80 millimeter lay flat width, which is gonna to correspond to the film that we're using and that film spec but perfectly to match the Boston round containers that we're working with here. So as the film travels down, it's being opened. Some of the slack is being lessened to allow that to turn into a shrink band. And then it's passing through the guillotine style cutting mechanism. So this is where I like to say the magic happens because this is the most complex part of the machine. And when I say that this is complex in comparison to our LX series, this is a very simplistic model. This is a guillotine style cutter. Now when I say guillotine style cutter, the film is going to be traveling down the mandrel through the machine and that cutting assembly is going to come at an angle and lop off the film. Okay, after it lops off the film, the band that is 
hanging below, it's gonna hang at a 45 degree angle. From that point, grab the force of the conveyor and lip of the container to take the label and start traveling. So I'm gonna shut the door here. Before I shut the door, there's one last feature that I forgot to mention. We do not have to use clear film here. Oftentimes you'll see clear film for tamper bands. That's not the, it, it's not necessary. You can use printed film, you can use registered film, a sealed for your protection, really whatever you're looking for. Again, it doesn't have to be clear. And we're gonna activate this photo eye up top to make sure that we're taking into account for where that film is on the roll. We also have a photo eye towards the conveyor, which is we are gonna activate for clear film. So that is going to read the bottle as it comes through or the container, whatever it may be. And we'll show you what's gonna happen here, okay? So I'm gonna press work. We're gonna have a band stay there. And I'm gonna load up a handful of products here. These are gonna be spaced out so you can really see that 45 degree angle of the band and the force of the container taking that band away. So again, very simple gravity driven system to allow for an easy application. Now this is our CH100 series. Again, this is just for the tamper evident neck band, which means that we can get up to about a 50 millimeter length. So the height of the band can be about 50 millimeters. Now, what that means is I'm gonna run one more through and I'm gonna stop it before it gets into the tunnel. What we've just done is added a loose shrink sleeve to a container on the fly. So whereas you may have one, two, three, four, five people applying these pre-cut bands by hand, in a system under $25,000, you're able to go fully automatic and really take out any guesswork of where that label is going to sit or where that label is going to shrink. So again, for $25,000, bang for your buck, this is gonna be one of the best options that you can find. Okay, I'm gonna run another set here and we're gonna focus on the shrink tunnel. So what we're talking about now is our GS series shrink tunnel. The GS series shrink tunnel is specific to the tamper evident bands. We make two different versions. Now before I run it, that's a great spot to be. We make two different versions of this tunnel. We have a 75, which you're looking at now, meaning that from side to side in this opening, we have 75 millimeters of gap. We also make a GS100, which correlates to 100 millimeters of gap in the opening. So I'm going to run a product through here. We'll run three of them. And you're gonna get a great look inside of this tunnel at how these heating elements that are red hot are gonna generate enough heat to shrink the label. So the first stage, we're really warming the label with those plates. And the second half of the tunnel is where the shrink is coming. So again, we are consistently able to have a great looking shrink and even curl over. That's gonna allow you to get a finger in there, peel it off and use the product. So there aren't many features on this machine, the GS series specifically. We have a mount that is included with the machine. We also have a mount that is on casters for an additional cost that may be really nice for some people that wanna have a mobile unit that wanna be able to move from one part of the plant to the other that's gonna be something that you're gonna want with this unit. A few of the other features that we have, very, very basic analog uh, heating elements. So we can adjust the heater on the left, the heater on the right. We can activate the heater, the fan, and we have a little bit of adjustability with the airflow with this wing nut, okay? So that's gonna make sure that we've got the exact amount of airflow, the exact amount of shrink that we're gonna need to really fine tune your solution and give you what you want. So again, this is our tamper evident system. Under $25,000, you're gonna get a CH100, which includes your butterfly mandrel. You're also gonna get a GS series shrink tunnel. So bang for your buck again, there's not really a better deal out in the market. If you do have questions about our tamper evident series, feel free to reach out to us at www.afmsleeves.com. Again, my name is Dave Milray. I handle the central district in the United States as well as Canada. My counterparts handle the rest of the country and they're more than capable to answer any of your questions. So again, feel free to reach out to us and thank you for watching our video.